Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George from Movie Misfit and today I get to check out the classic Shaolin plot now on Blu-ray from Eureka Video. So believe it or not, in the 35 plus years I have been watching and collecting Kung Fu movies, I have never had the privilege of uh, checking out Huang Feng and Sammo Hung's Shaolin plot. Now, as it states here on the back, available on home video for the first time in the UK in a new 2K restoration. How fecking exciting. This is just beautiful and a movie I have been dying to see for many years. And I'm sure, yes, there would have been a way I could have tracked this down as I've done with thousands of titles from Hong Kong, China, all over Asia, I'm sure. Uh, but to now have this on Blu-ray and to be able to watch it for the first time on Blu-ray is going to be amazing. Uh, this, of course, uh, is from Eureka Video and follows the same layout and uh, pattern as they've been using with their Eureka Classics edition. So you can see on the spine, it's the same format as such uh, with this band across the back as well. They're using a the beautiful bold pink for this. It kind of works, it pops. I really, really like it. And of course, on the front, you can see uh, Sammo Hung, James Tian, Chen Sing and Casanova Wong there. They're, this I am oh, cannot wait to get stuck into. Um, really can't. And I know that there's a host of uh, future stars and stuntmen throughout there, as there was in a lot of Samu's early stuff, uh, such as the young Yun Byo, uh, Yun Hua, Lam Chen Ying, Chung Fat, Peter Chan, Billy Chan, uh, and so on. Uh, this also stars as well as these main guys here who I've pointed out, although more so an introduction of Casanova Wong, uh, Yen Shi Quan, who more famously would be known for his role in Once Upon a Time in China, who uh, stars alongside Samo as one of the baddies in this. So kind of what the vibes I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that this is going to bring me, and I'm, I might be right, who knows, is let's say Broken Oath meets the Flying Guillotine. That's the kind of idea that I've got going into this. Um, of course, I'm a big fan of Hong Feng, the directors. He pretty much only directed over the decade of the 70s um, and only delivered about 14, 14 titles, 14 or 15 titles. Um, but I, all of them are pretty, pretty damn enjoyable. Uh, he knew how to direct. There was nothing ever... Um, amazing about his stories as such but they were well made and well crafted uh, movies many of them with Angela Mao Ying who of course I must point out that Eureka are going to be releasing soon a dual box set unfortunately um, with Lady Whirlwind and Hap Kido instead of doing a Huang Feng box set or a Angela Mao Ying box set with a with like, like the Joseph Co uh, Cinematic Vengeance collection that would have been amazing to see anyway i'll complain about that when that release comes out but this is going this is it this is the shallow plot and i'm excited to get stuck into it so here's what's included with the special features uh 1080p presentation from a brand new 2k restoration original mandarin uh, audio english dubbed audio uh, newly translated subtitles a new feature length co audio commentary by frank jang and michael worth uh, also a new feature length audio commentary by Mike Leader and Arna Venema, original Hong Kong theatrical trailer, uh, the original export trailer, the English trailer I'm guessing, plus a limited edition collector's booklet featuring new writings by James Oliver. Gorgeous. Pop that open again and inside the same cover. I'm hoping there is a reversible cover. There's no mention on there of a poster or reversible cover no um but anyway inside it's the same darn waiting art as you can see so of course as i don't have or haven't had this uh, as part of my vhs collection or my dvd collection or even vcd collection um i have nothing to compare this to when i go into it but i am excited to get stuck in inside we have got the booklet and the disc here and as we can see behind there is a reversible cover so i will Pop that out and flip it round. So this is the full spread of Darren Willing's design. And on the other side, the original Hong Kong movie poster artwork. So this is a co-production of, of sorts with uh, South Korea, which is why Casanova Wong, and I can never remember the other guy's name straight up. Let's see. Uh, Young Moon Kwan. Young Moon Kwan. He, you will recognize him. He's been in everything from 
Master with Crack Fingers, Kung Fu Zombie, uh, Project A, Dragon Lord. You, you'll know him once you see him, um, and he is just as amazing, uh, if not just as impressive as Casanova One. Casanova One, of course, his kicks are fucking phenomenal, um, but I don't think he had as strong uh, a career as what uh, Young did whenever he went further on from this. Uh, Casanova tended to star in a lot of independent Kung Fu productions, whereas Young got to go uh, into more uh, bigger budgeted productions, I suppose is what I'm looking to say. Of course, James, James Tan is in there um, as kind of the hero of the R, I suppose. Um, but really, really, really looking forward to getting stuck into this. That's actually gorgeous. I'm going to keep that right there. So the book, uh, the front cover, Shaolin Plot, and then of course, of course, of course, Cam Kong. Oh my God, I absolutely love this man. Anytime I catch him in a Kung Fu movie, I get excited. Fantastic uh, Kung Fu star. Everyone will recognize him from tons of stuff, from from loads of Jackie's movies. Of course, half a love of Kung Fu. He's the guy, the, the fighter, that Jackie rips the wig off and uses it as nunchucks against him. Um, uh, 18 Bronze Girls of Shaolin, uh, um, any amount of Joseph Koo movies, The Blazing Temple, Shaolin Kids, he's there. But anyway, I'm going to go through this book quick uh, and stop talking about Cam Kong, but he is fantastic and I do like him. Story by Ni Kuang, the prolific Ni Kuang, who of course wrote the majority of the Shaw Brothers hit movies over the years. Um, created wisely uh, with all those movies, I suppose, The Legend of Wisely and Seventh Curse and all those those uh, movies with that character wisely. So I'm expecting quite a good story here with this. Although I can imagine, you know, given its time and the era that it was made, that's a great kick from uh, Chen Sing there. Gorgeous shot. Um, it will be quite cliched in some ways, um, but that's fine. You shouldn't really expect too much because this was when Hong Kong cinema was starting to change uh, its ways and. The likes of Samu Hung, Jackie Chan, Yun Wu Ping and all those others were, were really kind of starting to burst out of uh, the shadows and uh, take over. Uh, so there we go. I will pop that back in there. All that's left for me to do now is go and check it out, which I am so excited to do, which is why I'm kind of rushing to get this done, because I know I have two hours free here to play with. Um, so I'm going to go watch this now and get back to you soon. Okay, so just back after checking out the amazing Shaolin plot on Blu-ray from Eureka Video and holy shit, I had a blast. Uh, unfortunately, I, I would normally watch this uh, one or two times, once uh, in its regular language option with English subtitles and the second time with the commentary, but I didn't have time to get through any of the audio commentaries yet. Uh, of course, I will through this week, I will go back to it and watch it. Uh, with Mike Leder and Arna Venema and again with Frank Zhang and Michael Worth. But to be able to see this movie for the first time in 2K restoration was just fucking mind-blowing. What a lot of fun. And I was right, it did give me that that feel of Broken Oath and the blind, Flying Guillotine that de definitely had a lovely mix of that. Uh, and just again, as a, as a Huang Fei, Feng movie, really just set the bar it was brilliant i can see where the, where samo got the inspiration to go ahead later the same year and make the iron fisted monk where a lot of the cast members uh, obviously would have returned to star in that for him um yes overall an absolute double thumbs up for me this is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous movie the menu you can see here nothing too special about it as usual nothing exciting but uh, you do have the English language options, English dub, you've all your language options up here, and then just the two trailers. Now, I did say uh, before I went off to watch this that I had nothing to compare it to, but whenever you actually put on the English export trailer, it has not been touched, restored, or cleaned in any way. So when you watch that first, maybe you should watch that first before you go into the movie, and then you will see how amazing the cleanup operation is on this because it just blows you away. It looks like this movie was made yesterday with this uh, print, with this 2K restoration. Definitely worth checking out, definitely worth buying and a wonderful role for Samo. Uh, even though he's under a ball cap uh, and some amazing facial hair, he is 
fantastic. There's no denying the man's moves and charm when he's on screen. Uh, and I love it. I actually cannot wait to watch it again. I have a couple of nights to get by first where I'll have some free time to get stuck into it. But I am excited to finally own this damn fucking wonderful classic in my collection. I, I really hope that Eureka keep going down this road. I've said it with a couple of their releases. What have we got? The likes of, uh, let's say, Full Alert, Bride with White Hair, um, PTU. There's a couple there that, yes, they eventually reached the shores on DVD, but it seemed for a long time there that Eureka were just remastering and re-releasing a lot of Hong Kong Legends titles. I want to see them do something different. I want to see them do something more. So why not get more Angela Mao Ying out there? Why not get more classic Sammo Hung, some, uh, you know, Enter the Fat Dragon? I mean, my God, who wouldn't want to see that on Blu-ray from Eureka? So, yes, Definitely out this week from Eureka. Double thumbs up. Go and get yourself a copy. You'll not be disappointed by any means. It'll, it'll start off giving you that kind of typically cliched late, late 70s feel of a kung fu movie. But whenever the action kicks off and the fights, if you're a fan of Warriors 2, Iron Fist and Monk, things like that, you will be blown away by the Shaolin plot. So do yourself a favour. Go grab it. You can check out my full review over on InvincibleAsia.com. Uh, where I've written a bit of an extensive piece about it, uh, plus many, many other titles, of course, that are on there. So if you need uh, <laughs> any more encouragement, go check that out and then grab yourself a copy. So there we are, another one done and dusted and a fantastic title uh, to come out this week. There is plenty more to come, of course. And if you haven't already, like I said before, head on over to InvincibleAsia.com where you can read as many reviews as I can write about these movies. Uh, time is fleeting and I just don't think there's an I sometimes I think I live in dog years it's passing that quickly follow me on Instagram at Invincible Asia and at Movie Misfit where I post bullet reviews and other things that I simply cannot put to video and don't forget to check out my other works here on the YouTube channel as well as hitting like subscribe and ringing the bell and sharing and do whatever you can to support the channel thank you for doing that uh, don't forget <laughs> next week there'll be lots more coming our way Plenty of pre-orders and crazy amount of titles coming out from 88 Films and Eureka, as well as tons of German media books and Shaw Brothers Blu-ray still to share with you. So, until next time, thank you for watching, thank you for your support, enjoy your Kung Fu, and I will see you soon.